in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary and she conceived of the Holy Spirit hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the Lord be done unto me according to your word hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and it dwelt among us hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen pray for us O holy mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ together we pray Pour forth we receive thee O Lord your grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord Amen you are welcome my dear brothers and sisters to living streams of water today we celebrate a feast of one of the apostles Saint Bartholomew in the fourth gospel you hear a name of Nathaniel he is the same as Bartholomew he is from Canaan in Galilee and because of the great love that he has for God he became an apostle of Christ history has it that after Pentecost he went to preach at Aramea and he suffered martyrdom there. Beloved, the blood of the martyrs, as is being said in history, is the seed of Christianity. Let us reflect upon the Gospel reading of today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophet wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no girl. Nathanael said to him, How did you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him because I said to you I saw you under the fig tree you do you believe you shall see greater things than these and he said to him truly truly I say to you you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man the gospel of the Lord my dear brothers and sisters in Christ we would like to thank God for his great love mercy and joy that he gives to his children today we celebrate the feast of Saint Bartholomew and one of the greatest gifts that he has shown us is that his brother called him to Jesus to come and see to come and witness and when he came yes he got to know he got to understand and Jesus said you will be seeing greater things than these my dear brother my dear sister there is always greater things when the Lord 
comes close to us. There are always greater things when the Lord always comes close to us. There are much greater things when we see the love of God being showered upon us. Beloved, can you imagine when you came face to face with God, what really came to you? At the very time when you were baptized or you were preparing to be baptized, see how sanctimonious you wanted to be after baptism. Ask yourself, what is that experience that you had with the Lord? When Nathaniel had the experience with the Lord, he imagined, how did man get to know me? He says, even when Philip came to call you under the fig tree, I saw you. My dear brother, my dear sister, remember when you became a Christian. Remember the encounter that you have with the Lord. One of the days that you went to pray and the way you felt the presence of God in your life. Moments that he has showered blessings upon you. Can you count all this? Today, Bartholomew is an example for us. Nathaniel is an example for us. Because of this great experience, he went as a Pentecost to preach the word of God and he shed his blood. How often would you also share the love of God with others? How often would you share the joy of God with others? How often do you and I share the experiences of Christ with others? My dear brother, my dear sister, in that you come to experience the love of God, you cannot come into his presence and go away without anything changing in your life. Maybe for you, martyrdom is not for us, but our life should become an exemplary to others because we have met God and our life have changed. Like some writer says, great change since I met God. Great change since I met God. Great change since I met God. There is a great change since I met God. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to say, I say them no more. The things I used to see, I see them no more. There is a great change since I was born. My dear brother, my dear sister, each time you meet Christ, may this great change come into your life. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he face shed it light upon you and grant you his peace. May he bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. Like the deer that yearns for running streets, so my soul yearns for you by the Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the air. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Taman from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel, Depsicon TV Taman and Facebook channel, Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsicon Taman. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the hand of change. Let your heart